Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a fantastic morning so far. Today is a beautiful, blessed, and glorious day that the Lord has created. And as always, if you opened your eyes today, no matter what you are going through, it is already a blessed day. Before you even got this day started, you are blessed because you are here, you are with us, you are pushing through each and every day. So keep your eyes, heart, and mind focused on Christ. And he will give you peace, he will give you joy, and he will guide you through that storm. Well, just remember that this life is a storybook that is your life. And eventually this chapter is going to end no matter what you're going through and a new one is going to begin. But if you have not spent time in the Word connecting with our Lord and Savior today, as always, I got you. This one, we're spending a little bit of time in First Chronicles here lately, but the Lord has been has been speaking to me through uh, through First Chronicles, and I'm absolutely loving it. We're talking about King David right now. First Chronicles, chapter 19, verse 13. And this one whew, is awesome. It says, "He put garrisons to Edom, and all the Edomites became subject to David." The Lord gave David victory wherever he went. And that's what I want you to focus on, that last part that says, The Lord gave David victory wherever he went. Listen to the study note. It says, The list of battles in this chapter shows how God gave David victory after victory. Unbelieving people think that victory comes from their own skill, plus a little luck. Just as David acknowledged God's role in his success, so should we. Don't take credit for the work God does. And that is so important right there. How many times have you done something in your life? You've asked God. You've asked God for help. You've asked God for guidance. You've asked God to bring you success in a certain situation. And then you finally get that success and you forget all about it. You forget where that success actually came from. I know I'm guilty of it. I've done it time and time again. Things will come from God. I'll pray. I'll ask him for something and he'll bring it to me or he'll give it to me. And then I forget to give him glory. I forget to give him thanks because for some odd reason, I think that this thing came from my own will that came from my own, uh, uh, my own, own, own perseverance when that's not the fact at all. Everything, everything in this world comes from God. When we ask God for something and he blesses us with it, we need to remember, keep it in the forefront of your mind to always thank the Lord for blessing you with everything that you have, everything he's done in your life. I was just in prayer this morning, thanking him for the things that I forget to thank him for. And I was, I was reminding myself in that prayer how nothing I do, nothing, nothing I have has come from my own two hands. Nothing, nothing I have has come from me. It has all come from God. We need to remember that as we go through every single day. Even the smallest, tiny thing. The smallest, tiny thing we need to give thanks and praise for. You guys, I hope and I pray that this word has spoke to you today. I hope that the Lord is speaking to your heart. Let's go ahead and say a quick prayer to get this day started. Heavenly Father, we pray in Jesus' mighty and gracious, wonderful name, Lord. We thank you for the blessing of this day that you have created. Father God, we ask, Lord, to help us to know, love, and serve you. Remind us, Lord that in all things, everything comes from you and to remind us to glorify you in every single situation. We know, Lord, that just like David, every victory has been blessed, has come from you. We cannot be successful without you, Lord, and we thank you for that. We thank you for all that you do for us. Remind us now, just as we are being reminded in this moment of every victory, help us to remind Help us to remember the victories in the past and stay focused on the victories in the future that all come from you. They come from your hand, Lord Jesus. They come from you. Keep us focused on that. Remind us of that. And we, we, we give thanks to you, Lord, in all things. It is in Jesus' mighty and gracious, wonderful name we pray. Amen. 
And guys, I hope and I pray that this word spoke to you. You guys have an amazing, wonderful rest of your day. Just remember to keep your eyes, heart, and mind focused on Christ, and he will guide your path straight. You guys have a wonderful day. God bless.